Hello beautiful people. Thank you so so much for joining. My name's Sherelle. I'm a small business owner and a children's illustrator. Today I really 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 want to talk to you guys about a wedding website. First of all, do you need a wedding website? Like have you got a really big guest list? Do you need everyone to RSVP on the website rather than sending you text messages here or WhatsApp messages there or asking you random questions here and asking you random questions there? Like oh, it could be too much. So a wedding website could be really, really beneficial to you. It was definitely beneficial to me because again, it's a big wedding. I don't want dodgy messages here and more messages there and messages, messages. It's too much. I've got enough to do as it is. I really don't want to answer all these questions. So I think a wedding website is the way forward. However, if you're having a small wedding of say, what, 20, 15 people, I don't think you need a wedding website, but you could have one just in case you wanted one. It's completely up to you. But for the people that have a really big wedding guest list, I definitely recommend a wedding website. And as we go along, you'll start to understand why I think it's quite an important thing to have and will help you with your planning in the long run a lot. Maybe I should also let you know that today we will be talking about what to put on your wedding website, where you can go to get a wedding website if you don't want to pay for one and make one yourself. There's loads of places out there where you can get one for free and it's going to help you a lot and a lot of the information that you get from your wedding website will help you with planning your huge wedding. So stay tuned and let's kick off with the first one. The very first thing that I would say that needs to go onto your wedding website as well as your name because people will be like who's this wedding website who are you I don't know uh. my top important thing is the date and time so you've already sent your save the dates and now they're going to your wedding website because you've sent them the invitation so I would clearly highlight the date and time the time it starts speaking as a side for the black people I'm talking to the black people now when you send your invitations or even on the wedding website give yourself an extra half an hour to an hour before the service actually starts because black people trust me you know we're late to everything B P T that's B P T black people timing black people timing goes back way back when our timing is off my dad is one of the biggest culprits of this i'll tell him to get me at two o'clock or meet me at two and he'll get there at four or five why what, what are you doing in that time so when it comes to a wedding if you want to start on time tell people a half an hour or an hour before if you're not black you're absolutely fine just tell them the real time they'll get there <laughs> now another very do you know what i keep saying this is number one this is number two it doesn't even matter what order it is but they they're all really really important the second one is the location where is the wedding location there's no point in setting a website up with the date and timing and names when where's the wedding we have no idea now it's going to be on the invitation but again people lose invitations and if people want to go back and check they can because all the information is on your website so the location again is very very important now this one is a bit it makes sense to me now but at the time I was like no I want to surprise people I want people to get there and it just all be a surprise and they're just literally directed by the wedding coordinator where to go where to sit blah 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 but then I realized hold on actually people need to know a lot of things beforehand just so they can have in the back of their mind how the day is going to play out just roughly so I would put on the wedding website just a rough idea of the order of the day so how the day is going to go from the ceremony all the way down to them going home. It doesn't have to be completely accurate because again, things go over. Some things could be shorter than others. So just make it rough, rough, rough. You've got your date on there. You've got your location on there. You've got your time on there. You have got your order of the day. Now we need to tell them what they can wear. Now this is funny because I know a lot of people are like, hold on. You can't tell your guests what they can wear. Hello, it's my wedding. Yes, I can. I mean, in a sense of, I don't want someone rocking up in trainers when everyone else is informal. It looks off and the wedding pictures are gonna look off. And who wears trainers to a wedding? But I guarantee there's a few people out there that would. Like they cast them as trendy trainers, Air Force One. No, 
no so i think a dress code on the website is also important when i say dress code is it black tie is it cocktail attire is it just formal is there a color theme is there a theme theme like is it a harry potter wedding you know people need to know the dress code they need to know what to wear our wedding is strictly black tie formal 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 i want these pictures to be so formal and so modern traditional if that's even a thing but i need them to look sharp i want everyone to look sharp ours is formal however the party section hey <laughs> The party section is cocktail attire so you can have like a nice beaded sequin dress just a shirt and trousers <sighs> catering i say <sighs> catering because oh my gosh people are fussy first things first if i got invited to a wedding best believe if they're asking for my dietary requirements i'm just going to say i eat anything because um i, I don't want to be too fussy however if you've got a serious allergy you're lactose vegan or even vegetarian you need to let the bride and groom know asap so they can adjust their catering to you so when it comes to catering on the website i would say in your rsvp section add an additional column that says any dietary requirements that way they can free type they can say i don't eat this i don't eat that blah 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 you can factor all those notes together and then discuss with your caterer okay we can have this 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 and this can we also have this and blah 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 if you already know the food that you're going to have you can also pop a menu on the wedding website now i didn't only because we have so much food come in and it's just oh i just want people to have a little bit of a surprise like somewhere down the line so i want not have a surprise with the food like because it's a we're all jamaican as well so it's going to be caribbean food that's all they need to know everyone eats caribbean food in my family and my other half's family so we're good we're good but there are a few nut allergies that i need to take into consideration and a few lactose intolerant people as well another important thing to put on your website is the rsvp date now this is important because again people will forget like your wedding is not the only thing that they have coming up in their life they have their life to get on with as well so remembering all dates and things like that can be quite tricky for some people in fact a lot of people because i know if i got invited to someone's wedding i've still got my life to lead. i've still got doctor's appointments i've still got to go to work i've still got to think of other things got to link up with a friend have a lunch date with another friend do you know what i mean so put the rsvp date on there just so people know listen you've got Got until this time to rsvp if you don't then you ain't coming yeah you have to be ruthless it sounds sad and bad and mm, sad, sad, sad. who cares you're getting married there's an rsvp date for a reason the rsvp date will help you with your caterers chairs venues do you know it just helps you factor in how many people are definitely coming and like even my grandma knows how to rsvp like literally so but she's then a, mm, she's techie savvy that's why she's a very techie grandma so um, but for people her generation a lot of them don't have a computer they don't know how to use an ipad or anything which i completely understand and you need to take that into consideration as well because they didn't grow up with the technology so it's a lot for them to kind of what's it called figure out so um yeah take that into consideration and then just do it for them but the younger ones like your generation maybe the, your parents generation as well they can do it like come on just stop being lazy just do it this is a good one accommodation now it's obviously the bridal party will need accommodation because they need to do rehearsals the night before and um, family will need accommodation because they may want to start stay two nights because it's in oxford i know a lot of people are taking the weekend and just making like a weekend out of it which i love that that is such a good idea what are the nearest hotels how far are they from the venue put all that information on there do a bit of research find out the hotels that are around pop them on your website and an average price of how much they will cost as well just pop that all on there and then if people don't like the hotels or the cottages then they can just find their own literally because again you've put the location on the website so they can do all that themselves but it is nice to just put a few uh, accommodation suggestions on there because then you'll have your wedding party staying at well, your wedding party your wedding guests staying at the various hotels but they're all kind of together so that you know that they're all going to the same wedding maybe people can meet new friends again i said this is not tinder so scrap that it's not about making new friends uh, you've got 
all the points to put on there. They are the main, main points that you need on your wedding website. And if you want to add other things, that's absolutely fine. On my wedding website, I added our love story. So we've done a um, timeline of like when we first met, our first date, first um, kiss, first moved in, blah, 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 first holiday, blah, blah, blah. And then obviously wedding so that's quite a cute idea as well and um, you know I'm all about the Pinterest so jump on Pinterest and try and find a few wedding templates there as well and little things that you can put on your wedding website as well and um, there's loads of other things you can put on there but don't put too much on there because you don't want people to be like oh my god I can't navigate through there's too much information blah 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 keep it short and sweet the last 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 thing I would definitely recommend you put on your website is an FAQ page page frequently asked questions because again black people just talking to you our people will ask the same questions five times and get the same answer five times but still go on to ask a sixth time literally and the main main question is can I bring someone can I bring my partner I didn't even know you had a partner so no definitely not if you're rotating through partners on a tinder flex no why i don't know this person so on the faq page you can answer questions like that can i bring a plus one that was my very first question on my faq page and it just clearly said no i think did i put an exclamation or was that a bit rude i probably did put an explanation <laughs> but it said no I said no kids and no plus ones it's a very tight guest list and if they do arrive they will have to wait outside until the wedding's finished sounds harsh I didn't put that part but sounds harsh but it's true because I haven't paid for you and I didn't say you could come I didn't invite you you can't invite people to someone else's wedding I cannot stress this enough because a lot of people in the world actually think you can and I find it rude and you can ask but once we said no we said no don't come back to me and ask again thinking I forgot no it's so frustrating and so I personally think it's rude I can't rave about a FAQ page enough it saves people messaging you all the time you have so much to do you do not have time to individually message 370 people what the answer is for one question just all say website so when people ask me now I just say oh it's on the website it's on the website it's not even being rude I'm just saying it's all on the website because there could be other questions they have as well that could be answered from one click of a website literally so yeah an FAQ page is uh, the holy grail now 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 I'm gonna let you in on a little secret how much of a secret is it because you could have just googled it but you know what don't let me blow my trumpet so I'm gonna let you in on a secret um and he stopped saying secret it's not a secret right so the website that I used is called the knot now I'm pretty sure it's either Canadian or American because I can't get the app in the UK but if you go on the actual website oh the templates are gorgeous there's so many nice templates on there you can even order invitations on there you can order save the dates on there you can order thank you cards on there um, there's loads of things that you can order on there but the main thing is it's a website a wedding website so I literally just downloaded a template and input all my information into there oh. And I love it. I really love it. Because again, I keep saying this, and I know you already know, but our wedding is huge. So rather than people RSVP to me individually, I wanted them all collated into one software, a one app, one program, which is The Knot. And then you can change the actual website to thenot.com slash, and then you and your partner's name, just so it's easier to navigate. But all our stuff is on there. Our dietary requirements when people RSVP are on there. It's password protected I just loved that whole aspect and it just made things so much easier when it came to the guest list and just managing the RSVPs and stuff like that it was perfect also I'm trying to save the environment do you remember I told you before I'm trying to go green I'll put the link for the website in the bio so go check that out thank you so much for watching you're amazing and again catch me on Tuesdays at 4 p.m and then we can go from there um go from there what am I can you see that I'm I bumble and mamble bumble I can't get my words out I babble so much like I can talk for England literally I could do a video with just me talking about nothing 
this memory card, literally two memory cards. I could do a video talking about these two memory cards, like how small they are and how shiny the back of it is and how they could literally fit. See what I mean? It's crazy. Thank you for watching. You are amazing. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe and Tuesdays 4pm. Bye.